Hello, dorks. How is it going? It's Monday. Hooray, Monday. Yay, Monday. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna fill with my volume here. How's it going? It's Dwarf Fortress Day. Hooray! Um, it's warm in here. I had the doors open earlier, cooled off a little bit, now it's warm again. All undid itself very quickly. So cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm fine. How are you? Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna swap over and we're gonna kind of get into it because I got nothing much else to talk about. All the interesting things have already happened. I, I had a very normal weekend full of sleep and very little else. Um, hello, hello, hello. So I did put in a little bit of work off stream, um, mostly with some settings. Um, I fiddled with stockpile settings here and and our um, our trash situation. Um, and I did some reading. I did a, little bit, did a little bit of research, so I understand this a little bit more. Um, some of the things that's going on here. Oh, and we're saving right now. That's perfect timing. Hooray. Um, yeah, I discovered that there's... Uh, I was seeing rawhide from animals being butchered showing up in the refuse stockpiles, and I never noticed that before, but that's totally a thing. They totally just... That's where they go if they don't get used for leather. Um, so I disabled that from this refuse stockpile. Mr. Sesh! Oh no! We lost an just immediately lost another artifact. Which one was that? Uh, I don't even... We have so many. One of the things that I did... Uh, while off stream was go through all of the artifacts and assign them to a proper place. So of course one goes missing immediately. Yes, your sesh. Hello, hello. We just we just had an artifact go missing. Which Messier Sesh. But it's okay. Something else there. I'm confused. Oh look! Some goblins? Some goblins. We're gonna see some very regular goblin appearances, I think, going forward. All in the dwarf police. <laughs> you mean I mean this isn't even No, that is it. Yeah. The shower of sockets. Okay. We can interrogate people. Let's interrogate the human spearmen. For no reason. Yeah, Dwarf Sherlock. I mean, there is kind of... There is kind of a, a Sherlock-y component that I don't ever really interface with in this game. Um, you can interrogate people, you can try to uncover plots and such. such. Um, mostly it's like the first half of, a, of an intrigue feature exists in this game. With like, you know, the rest to be added later. Um, but people can, like, conspire and make plots, and you can uncover the plots and then not really do anything about it yet, but, uh, that's all there. Like, look at this. We have... Yeah, plots. There's just a plots tab. So we interrogated Moral, our, our sad sack performer. Uh, met with subject, attempted to make intimidating remarks in order to elicit information. Subject was not afraid and refused. In retrospect, interrogator may have completely misjudged subject's character. Hilarious. Uh, made flattering remarks to elicit information. Subjects succumbed to vanity. Unfortunately, no new pertinent information was revealed. Hilarious. Anyway, goblins. Let's go ahead and do a civilian alert. And we'll post our melee dudes. And we'll tell our wall patrollers to patrol the wall. Standard operation at this point. Check out all of these goblins coming off the map. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh. Welcome. Oh, there go all the there goes all the thieves. And there we have some shooting down. 
We're gonna try to rush in. Uh, and that's cool. Let's see, I wanna get like a bunch of them in and then let's like, let's like split them up. So that is quite a few. I don't want to be super outnumbered. Um, they're probably going to still sneak in, mostly. Let's go ahead and like close this one too. Yeah, they're already they're in the courtyard. There they go. Hopefully these gates don't close at exactly the wrong moment. Okay, that seemed fine. We didn't lose anyone, right? Nope. Nope. Perfect. Cool. Uh... <laughs> I mean, so far so good. Uh, let's just pull this one again. Realistically, our... Like, we can just... Oh, they got up onto the wall here, even. Uh, and shooting into our courtyard. Hilarious. Like, we can just trap them in here and just kind of slowly pick them off with bolts. No reason we can't really do that. Yeah, come on. Come on. You all hesitant now? I guess I, I closed the door behind them so they can't get out even. Or are you? You are unconscious. Oh, okay. Let's let's save our, our friend here. And just give a kill order on whoever's left. Someone got knocked out. Six targets, that's not bad. And they're one, two, three, four, five. Oh, is that, who is this? That's a Marks Dwarf. A Marks Dwarf got knocked off. Marks Dwarf try f just fell in. Okay, well, go rescue the Marks Dwarf, please. Yeah. There we go. That's much better. And then there's two more. You gonna, you gonna finish the job? Multiple orders. Kill. No. Are you all... You're not injured. Oh no! Mark's door found dead! Oh damn. They finally got one. They finally got one. Who's in this cage? No one? Why are they... Okay. Cool. And then... And then we're good? I mean, as good as we can be now. Caged prisoners. Yeah, okay. So, like, the one that got locked out is just already gone. Yeah, F4. Oh, we lost one one ranged dwarf because they got into melee. I guess that's how it goes. What is this, a tier? F's for a tier. Um, but that was still, I mean, we killed many goblins there. I'm still going to call it a success, just not a perfect success. I mean, we've gone like three or four sieges without losing anyone, so losing a dwarf in like five sieges is pretty dang good by my math. Um, we'll clear our civilian alert. Then we'll pick up the garbage. My goodness. We already have a bunch of garbage again. Anyone else sneak down here? No. Oh, that's where our, our goblin cage is. A thief! A thief in a cage! Perfect. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna unforbid all the garbage in our, uh, courtyard here. And then people will just slowly start taking care of it. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, and it's here was in a martial trance even. Oh, and that was our dungeon master. Dang. Oh, what are you wanting? Expert breastplate prohibited, whatever. Okay, well now we need a new militia dwarf and a new dungeon master. Everything. Looks like everything. Mostly everything. Jeez. Okay. Now. We were still trying to get this minecart to behave. 
Having the Dungeon Master fall into the trance usually ends in a TPK. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the goblins TPK'd. Does that count? Um, okay, so this is going to get pushed any second now, realistically. Um, and we were adding track stops to try to make sure it doesn't uh, toss all its stuff. I want to say we got down... What did we get? We were down here somewhere. All these are built. Okay, well let's... I want to see what happens with this. All these honeybee remains. Hilarious. But whatever. But yeah. Um, look at all these alerts. Thank you, it's caught in a web. That's just going to be happening constantly. Um, I'm curious about a tier. You see that combat log? Here. Block some arrows. Successfully shooting. Jumps away. Shooting. Flying iron bolt strikes the goblin crossman, crossbowman in the ear. Lodges firmly in the head. Very cool. I mean... And then what? I was near a trap. I take no pleasure in this. Flying copper bolt strikes. Strikes. I recited it must have been Lover at the Saffron of Brass. There is no gaiety. Interesting. Um, so then fell, obviously, and stands up, and then things go downhill very quickly. Okay, so... Our, our ranged dwarf got caught in melee, and that was a bad time. Oh, and you can stop patrolling now. Um, and let's find someone to put in here. Probably not anyone who's just inherently good at Marksdorfin, right? Gonna have to train someone up from scratch. As you do. Yeah. I'm a competent Marksdorf, but you're a weaver. Is, is Dobar our, like a good one? Dobar. Legendary Weaver, yeah, you're not gonna, you're not doing that. Okay, so who's who's not doing anything important? Spinner, Weaver, Weaponsmith, Weaver, Bone Carver, Carpenter, and Trapper, Eshtan. What is Eshtan up to? My master trapper, which we're not even trapping anything. I don't have any need to trap things. Um, you are healthy. You've not murdered anyone. You great creativity. Tends to not reveal personal information. Where's Dreams of raising a family. Okay, so being in the military won't preclude that. Personally finds the acquisition and use of power abhorrent and would have all masters toppled due to experiencing trauma in 134. Cool. Believes that those who sacrifice for others should be deeply respected due to experiencing trauma in 135. All right, Eshtan. I think you're a good, you're a good fit there. Hopefully you can figure out your clothes and such. Then... This hasn't happened yet, right? Okay. Someday someone will come and push this. And full of... And I can just say... Any items. Whatever. I don't know if that makes a real difference. Um, but I went through and I, I was more specific about what these stockpiles and the minecart itself can take. Uh, yeah, okay, here you go. Got pushed. 
Yeah, I did it again there. That's like the exact same spot, isn't it? Hmm. So I even put, like... This isn't like a weird... You know, downward track, block track. Hmm. Wherever you go, I'm always with you. Let's disassemble this one, and I'll put a a harder one there, I guess. I mean, I can even put it over here. Let's do. I don't think it matters where. We'll just do like a a max a max one, and just put it there. See if that makes some difference. And then while they're all figuring all that out, I'll just remove the departure condition so no one gets run over. Uh, Momas want some goods. Figurines, okay, fine. That'll just happen on its own. This time I'll protect you. And then what? We need to. We need another. We need a dungeon master. I'm a schemer. I'm not gonna do someone else in the military again. Considering what just happened. Ugh. Who? I do like Miller. Miller would be fine, or Bone Carver. Or scholar, that'd be smart. Irvad, no. I want Irvad to be a, like a dedicated right. scholar. Uh, let's do Dodok. You can be our new dungeon master. And then we'll have to go down here to assign to here, I think. Dungeon Master. Dungeon Master. Dungeon Master. Yeah, these all, um... All our other person's junk. Just gonna be in this room now. Yeah, you're happy. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, well. Hopefully... I'm curious if our... Our burial... Stuff is working? Oh yeah, and our web farm should just be like going. Yeah, look at all these webs. Look at this. It's just going. It's just working. Very happy with that. Yeah. Cool. Um, and then in theory, our is that are you? Yeah, hauling hauling a tear. Rest in peace. Yep, elite Markstorf, damn. Um, okay. Well, that's one thing taken care of. Um, you'll notice that I've made some designations. fine that's all fine interruptions from a siege yeah I know what how are you getting in there oh because of the diagonal okay fine I don't want them coming in here. Constantly. I'm gonna close this off. Because of why not? Um, though I guess I could just put the door here instead. Um, and is this. Like, where's. Why are you. There shouldn't be like a collect webs job anywhere. doing make rock door I want to see if someone else comes down well, let's 
This door clearly isn't doing anything. Let's, let's just get rid of it. Rundles are dying. Um, anyway, you will notice that I have made a bunch of digging designations um, in, in blueprint mode. Um, these are going to just be more... Uh, forgotten piece downstairs is going at it. Um, look at that. That's so beautiful. That is... it's gorgeous. Look at that. We're going to have so much. We already have so much, and we're going to have even more. Um, but I've made a bunch of room for bedrooms because our fortress is working so well. We are, we are so flush on food and we are like, we already have a whole bunch of, uh, like wool for clothing, which we should continue to keep using. I'm just going to keep putting in yarn jobs here. Or yarn clothing jobs. Um, yarn trousers. Yarn socks. Yarn gloves. And I'm going to do like 20 of each of these. We, we have so much. Um, I'll even toss in... We could even do, like, yarn shoes. I typically have been doing leather shoes just because. That makes more sense to me. But, like, you can make yarn shoes. They will be perfectly happy with those. So we're going to make some. Um, but yes, we have... So, we have so much. Like, look, we're gonna fill up our food. We're gonna fill up our secondary food stockpile again. So much food. Um, so, I'm gonna activate that part. That'll be fine. I want basically all of these stockpile bits. I just kind of make it a tiny bit bigger. Just to squeeze as much room out of everything as we can. all going to be storage space. Um, and then, yeah. Oh, and this, this little bit, too. Or, nope, that's not right. Just the one. Thank you. But we have so much stuff. And we have a little bit of extra room in here. Like, we're... We're crammed in here, but like, yeah, they're gonna take a minute to grab all that stuff, aren't they? Ugh. Um, we're crammed in here, but we can cram even more. So I'm gonna. <laughs> um, I the the interesting part I I thought of this fortress was kind of cramming into a small embark. Um, so we've been capped at 50 dwarves for this whole time, but these 50 dwarves have gotten us to uh, quite, quite the established fortress. Um, my goal for today is to start smoothing the whole dang thing, and we're just going to make everything pretty. And we're going to make sure everything's in good shape, and we're going to dig out a whole bunch of more bedrooms, and then we're going to up our cap. Probably going to go like 100. And see what happens we're gonna we're gonna turn this into a high population place now that it's been a, a low plop a low population place for for quite a while yeah, all those damn crumbles um and for a couple reasons um or non reasons i guess um partly because it's a thing we can do um okay so that got done so we're fine here. That's they'll they'll be fine. They'll just respect the fact that they can't get through there now. That's cool. 
Um, and then are you getting filled again? Not quite. Mm, why? What's everyone doing? Why isn't anyone picking up my garbage out here? I guess there's not that much even. Just some skeletons. Just random prepared donkey long. Well, that must have been our 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 ranger's backpack. Dang. Oh, and they're gonna get all weird because of damp stone. That's fine. We're just digging under our waterworks. Uh, the other thing that I did, I went through, uh, I placed all of our artifacts. Of course, one has already gone missing. My goodness. Um, so all of the all of the artifacts that I could find, I have I have designated to be placed in here. Um, looks like they've already done so. Yeah, some of them don't have like an actual sprite. Um, what is this? This is a a sock, a, a chasa. But it's there. It says it's there on display. Sandward Big. Um, yeah. So yeah, all of our artifacts should be in here, including this uh, artifact iron barrel, which it kept all of its food. Hilarious. Don't care. This, is this just going to rot in our... We were using this artifact barrel as a barrel. Maybe I should. Maybe I should just not display it. I don't know. Do I display the barrel? Let's look, let's take the barrel down. Because if it if it's not sitting in a food stockpile, all the food's gonna rot. Which again, it's not like we need food, but you know, waste not, what not. Um, the other thing that I did was I finally went through our temples and our guild halls, and I assigned them all spaces. So we have. Temples dedicated to every god that has more than one worshiper. There's a, there's several that have one, but there's you know a bunch that have two. So anything that has two or more worshippers now has a little shrine space. And then I also made a guild hall for all of the major guilds, including the ones that have no workers in them. But look, you're you're just socializing in the jeweler. Uh, Guild Hall? Why not? You can do that. That's fine. Temple District looking fancy? Yeah. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping to make this whole place look fancy. I want to start... I want to start smoothing. Um, let's see what's going on here. We got a bunch of drinkers. Um, there are a bunch of surface refuse stockpile jobs. A bunch of store jobs. Uh, construct buildings, build walls. Yeah, I did tell him to build a bunch of walls. Um, and we're making clothes, and that's about it, really. Store item and vehicle, okay. So I'm just gonna say... We're gonna start... I'm gonna say, like, priority two, but we're just gonna start smoothing. Freaking everything. I want this whole fortress to be smooth. Because I, I rarely play fortresses long enough to make them look like finished uh, so I want to like I want to make this fortress look like it's a completed project um, so and part of that's gonna be smoothing the whole dang thing and engraving all the important places um, and maybe making some statues and yeah um, our Archaea is you know Having a time. I'm curious. It says healthy. The wiki made it sound like things getting hit by webs if they're too close can still suffer like physical injury, but this doesn't seem to be an issue for for our friend here. Yeah. Usually smooth my entire fort before starting a military. Jeez. Different priorities. <laughs> Feels patient after being confined. It is a big bird. But it's also a big a big critter. 
Abaku's kind of strike lifted the molten. Wow, that's good. That's a good name. Um, oh, more damp stone, but that's all fine. Um, and then we're yeah we're digging up here. We're digging up here. I'm gonna dig all that. Mayor has mandated something. Breastplates, cool. Um, how are we? How's our metal stuff? We have we made like a big batch of steel early on to get our military set, but I haven't been paying attention to where it's been at. I don't think they've been making more stuff. Um, so let's look at bars. We have iron. We have steel. We have fuel. We have soap. That's good. Um, yeah, so we got a bunch of iron, and then we can make more steel. That's cool. I'm curious what our ore situation... No, I know what our ore situation is. Our ore situation... is we have ore. <laughs> this is like all hematite magnetite. So we can make we can make iron stuff. We can make steel stuff. We also have iron loot off of our goblin that we can melt down if we want. Um, so I'm gonna say let's make steel breastplates. We're just gonna make three more steel breastplates. Satisfy our our mayor. Um, I am curious if everyone has been able to find their equipment. Leather armor, male shirt. Is that what I wanted? Who are you? You Sazir? Nope. Why are you wearing leather armor and not metal armor? that and then they all have the same thing have we not been using our steel breastplates hilarious i want to say i marks dwarf of basic custom uniform hmm well let's turn their chest armor into it was just all leather i want to do new body wear breastplate steel and remove leather and then they're wearing leather trousers or even wool trousers that's probably fine. I mean, Greaves... Does Greaves cover legs? Right? And then we have high boots. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna replace everyone's leather armor with a steel breastplate. That's what I thought they were wearing. Otherwise, they're wearing steel things. I wonder if armor with better quality but made out of worse materials is better than superior you know, counterpart. I want to say the material factors a lot. I, there's there's probably some extreme, like a masterwork versus a like a low like no quality. But I want to say the qual I want to say the material is like. 
the primary thing. Okay, I'm curious. See, like, why? Hey, gifting subs, hooray! Thank you, thank you. Oh, and uh, our penitent got it. Excellent. Thank you, thank you for the gifted sub. All the dwarves just jumped. Yeah, um, the all the avatars down there should respond to uh, gifted subs and such. And the quality of the product is mostly related to the price. True. Um, the value definitely increases, but I yeah, as far as yeah, I guess quality does sometimes impact function, but it might not for for this specifically. See, what's going on? Oh, did I need to... Hmm. Maybe that's part of my problem. I need to say... Breastplate, material, steel, and firm. I need to actually hit the confirm button. That's the problem. Breastplate, steel, confirm. Pressed plate, steel, confirm. So they'll all, they'll all get themselves figured out. Steel, confirm. They'll get their stuff again. Press plate, steel, leather armor, confirm. Does impact function with traps, so it most likely does with armor as well. I yeah, I want I know it does with traps. Um and so you should be able to figure out all your They'll figure it out. <laughs> They'll get there. Um and you're all fine, right? Your leather armor but steel mail shirt. Should, should do just fine. Um, the wiki probably explains. We have merchants. No? Maybe not. Okay. Doctor has created a llama bone puzzle blocks. Excellent. Um, and then that's all fine. Digging is happening slowly. Oh, and then how are we doing here? Are you still waiting to get your stuff back? Okay. Symbol, adamant, ballist. No, why? No, I did not tell you to make an adamantine ballista arrow. Thank you. At least not intentionally. Okay. Shearing animal needs rock salt. We have... We have rock salt? I thought I checked that we have rock salt. Yeah, we should have rock salt. Oh, but it's in the road. I see. Okay. Might be running low on rock salt. I did just make a bunch of... Digging job designations. I'm curious, like this should be, this should all be rock salt, right? At least a good chunk of it. Uh, weapon to hit, armor deflect bonus, masterwork times two, artifact times three. Okay. So no, so there's no bonus unless it's masterwork or better. Is that the implication? Because that's interesting. We're just going to be spamming our own cancellations and alerts with our, our web farm. But that's fine. Um, our leather stockpile is quite large. Our cloth stockpile is not, interestingly. Um, yeah, that's kind of... This is part of why I'm digging out more space here. Everyone's... Everyone's working. 
I was doing something. For exceptional quality and below it stays unknown. Interesting. My my guess it's either like a small percentage, like maybe exceptional is a 1.5 or something. Or it's just straight up one for everything until you get to masterwork and then two for masterwork and three for artifact. That's that wouldn't surprise me. We are slowly working on these. Ugh. I Yeah, okay. Value modifier for unique items is crazy high. Oh yeah. Well and they changed all that. Um Man, smoothing's going on. They changed the multipliers for for quality in in the steam version um you can probably find it in the wiki that it'll explain what it used to be versus what it is now at, in some place um but like it used to be more like it wasn't linear but it was like a smoother curve like you would get more from the middle quality modifiers but now it's like you get a little bit, and then a little bit, and then a little bit, and a little bit, and then Masterwork and Artifact are like huge, huge jumps in quality, uh, or in value. Which is interesting. They also change it from being like, um, a straight multiplier, and now it's like, the multiplier is less, but you add a little bit to the base value first. So it's like, instead of it being times two, it's like, times 1.5 plus 3, or plus 3, and then, and then you multiply, I think is how it works. Which is interesting, not really, uh, you don't, I don't want bins here. Shut up with the bins! You're not gonna stuff things in the bins. Um... Yeah, I'm trying to give them just a little a moment to catch up on all my my jobs here. To check our labor, the four miners it's probably fine. Two, two of them are legendary. Uh, we're not really cutting wood much. We're not hunting. We don't need to be hunting. Legendary archers. We got some planters. We're not fishing. Gathering. Everyone stone cutting. We have a proficient engraver. We should train up at least one more spearmaster. Who wants to be? Who wants to be another engraver? Carver, farmer. Well, leather worker. Let's do that. Then our metal smiths, we have a grandmaster weaponsmith. Very cool. Uh, yeah, that seems fine. And then everyone's doing mechanics for now. Okay. I think that's fine. Look at our ding. I'm tempted to like put in a wall here or something and then turn all of this into this storage because we don't appear to need that much space in here for furniture at this point. So half of this is bags. Half our furniture storage is bags. From all our flour, probably. And look, we got all these bones. I'm tempted to say is just start throwing away the bones even. We have, like, look at this. We have this many bones. It's still so much just sitting here in in the butcher shop. Let's let's do this. I'm gonna say this stockpile and accept bones. We'll keep the skulls. Skulls don't fill up quite as fast. Uh, but then we'll go into our kitchen minecart thing and say this can also accept bones. And then this stockpile will give to the bone stockpile. I think that 
makes sense. Check the wrong version in 5009. It's the same multiplier for Masterwork and Artifacts. Exceptional got an 8, 1.8. Oh, okay. But yeah, they changed it. In terms of value, they decreased the multiplier significantly, but apparently gave items a flat bonus. Yeah, exactly. Based on quality. Um, yeah, most things are worth less at the lower qualities now. Um, just across the board, I think. But the the bonus for being masterwork, I think, is higher and like it's a bigger gap between exceptional and masterwork now. Is kind of my my understanding. I mean, tell me if I'm wrong there, but. Okay, digging is happening. Why is there just stuff in there? The mayor has mandated construction. Okay, what do you want? More breastplates. Well, did we have enough breastplates for everyone? You are wearing a steel breastplate. You are wearing a steel breastplate. You are wearing a steel breastplate. And a steel breastplate. And a copper breastplate. Boo. Boo. We'll just make two more. For now. Artifact used to have a 120 multiplier, now I got 20 and a flat bonus of 300. Yeah, that makes sense. I think it keeps things a little more consistent. The value of artifacts was like a huge range. It's still kind of huge, but not as ridiculous, I don't think. Meng is visiting. Yeah, look, we already made 20 yarn caps, 20 yarn trousers. We made our steel breastplates. Now we're making more steel just automatically. Yarn vests. I also upped our caps for lavish meals. Uh, make yarn shoe needs one unused dyed yarn cloth. We should have. We have so much yarn. Have we gone for cloth? Who's not making me cloth? Don't scoff at copper. I learned to love the lower quality metals ever since I started playing with. Mineral set to scarce. Oh, that's fair. Um, I won't scoff at copper, but... You know, if I can make steel, I'm gonna make steel. Um, where's... I'm looking for... our yarn cloth. We need yarn into cloth. Yeah, so this should be going. Maybe we're just using it so fast. Yeah, weave yarn into cloth. Okay, so they're they're working on it. That's fine. I'll give them I'll give them some time to keep working on that. I want to say I I fiddled with some of our some of the limits and stuff in our work orders uh, off stream. I want to say that had a limit of like it was capping itself at a hundred yarn cloth, and I've just removed that. So there's hopefully they'll just crank through and make a bunch of cloth. Uh, but we also got like all this silk now. Look at all, look at all this. And there's and there's a bunch of cloth in here too. Okay, we're not, we're doing fine. <laughs> they just need to put stuff away. This is all the same. Yeah. Okay. So we'll change the sizes of some of these stockpiles. Uh, we'll check back up here. They're still not loading this. They are... What are you doing? You are... Okay. As long as they're dropping stuff off and not taking stuff away. What are you doing? You are hauling stray llama cartilage. And... Boop. Perfect. And then probably grabbing more garbage. Yeah. Or picking up equipment. Okay. You are pulling a link skeleton. Okay. Oh, hydrate. Thank you. I 
I also mess around with some OBS automation. <laughs> Was that just a dragonfly? Okay. What are you hauling? Just a heavy corpse, I guess. I need some music. Okay. Yeah, here they come. They're working on it. They're working on it. Damp stone because of course. Um, how's our smoothing going? Wow, look! Smooth! So smooth. It's between it being smooth and not having just a bunch of stone laying around everywhere. We're gonna we're gonna make this look nice very quickly. Let's do a little lower priority so no one just Abandons things that are more important. Uh, we're just we're just gonna smooth. Don't care about these. Don't care about these. I think the rest of that's fine. I don't care about that. Yeah, that's all fine. Okay, and uh, yeah, they're working on they're they're working on it. You doing pondering reproductive behavior? Very bad. Who cares what they think? I'm gonna sit in a doorway and thinking about animal screwing. You can't do anything about it. Okay. They're they're working on it. They're they're getting their gear sorted. Ever used the invisibility feature? Forgot what they call it. You mean like um, like rehiding parts of the map, or um, or something else? <laughs> There's a DF hack thing where if you like seal off, like it'll reflow the vision basically. Um. So like if you if you close off a part of your fortress, you can like have it hidden from the map again. Um, but I haven't really used that. I just kind of know that it exists. Part of the UI where you forbid items. There's an eye. Oh. Oh. No, I have not. Remove hidden designations. Hide an item or building from your view. Citizens will still use it. Interesting. No, I have not used that. If I forget, if I forbid something from my view, I will forget that it exists, and that's probably not a good thing. That seems new. I don't think that existed before. The okay, that's still. Oh, keeps moving. Yeah. I mean, it's a cool feature. Another visiting necromancer? Human axeman. So many white-haired humans. How's this neat if you want to clear your fort of stones? Yeah, that's true. But I'd rather, like, deal with the trash, you know? Like, I could hide all the garbage up here say all the corpses are invisible, but that's not. That's cheating. I want them to clear all this stuff before I send... Uh, maybe I'll just Good. forbid it for the moment. So no one gets stuck on the tracks. And this has like two items in it. I'm just going to Tell it to go. Uh, so we're pushing west immediately when always. Yeah. Yeah, just just push it. Push it real good. Got a corpse in it. Probably will 
tell us if it will make it to the bottom at least. Oh, you're guiding. No, I wanted you to push. No. Yeah, you're guiding. Oh, well. Well, this will definitely work because it's going to be guided. Whatever. Imposed ban on exports. Is it breastplates? Yep. That's fine. It's guided, it's fine. Oh, but it went that way. That's interesting. Hilarious. <laughs> Under its own power, it should go where it's supposed to. Stukos is in depression. Why? Who is depressed? Our mayor does love breastplates. Kind of nice, but also kind of... Like, he's just gonna keep demanding us making breastplates. Forever. Okay, so we're weaving yarn. And using our yarn. And webbing our Kia. There we go, so got pushed. And then it still has... it has things right now. And then it stopped. See, that's... That's the trouble, ain't it? I'm gonna just... Okay, so let's... I'm gonna unforbid these so people keep taking them. <laughs> They've already... They're just gonna go take it. That's fine. And then we will remove this so no one goes something stupid. I'm gonna remove all three of these. I don't even remember what they are. I'm gonna say, let's just do one. Do one full friction one at the end here. Let's see, see what that does. Trial and error, hooray. Most of this got dug. Let's just go ahead and enlarge in our stockpiles. And yeah, I think so. This is gonna come up this way. Then I'm gonna put in a wall. And I mean, geez, that's a lot of bags. We do kind of want most of this space, but maybe I'll... Maybe something like this. Eh, why can't I? Why can't I? Do something like that. I'll move all the junk. Of course, I will have to disconnect those. We'll just put floors over those stairs. That's fine. Um, we'll choose many. Nope, nope. Caravan, okay. And then we have microcline? Do we use all of our microcline? We've used everything. We should like, we, we have a bunch of mudstone. I mean, it's, it says we have rock salt blocks, so I'm gonna use the rock salt blocks. Um, and we'll, we'll just dig through here. And then I'll put some floors. Building present. 
Hmm. Hmm. I just remove. I'll just remove those. <laughs> that should be fine. Connecting to chat. Why was I not in the chat room for a second there? Bitch. Okay. And then this stockpile is just gonna get bigger. And that should be fine. Question mark. We got some spare room in here. This is all working. I'm gonna say that this stockpile, Momus has been reelected. Very cool. Um, our bone stockpile. Just gonna be basically this area, but not this area. Why is there cartilage in here? You should not be saving cartilage. Dwarves. This was just damp stone translations. Uh, oh, not <laughs> there. Uh, okay. Much to discuss. Hooray. I'm not going to import leather because we have so much leather now. Holy cow. Still do want still still do want wood. And what else? Oh I was considering let's see, what's what do I have for seeds? This is not in any real order, is it? Seeds. Um, there are other crops that can be turned into dye of different colors. And they're all above ground things. I want to say one was like blade weed. I'm not seeing them here. There's one that's only evil biome, so we so you can't trade for it. And then there's uh, a red and a green. But I don't see him here. That's fine. Whatever. Whatever. And yeah, this stockpile should not be taking... It's got skulls and bones and that's it. it okay have you been loaded you're you're still loaded let's come back down here let's get made it's got made i'm gonna go ahead and re bid that just so no one has an accident and then we're gonna try this again we're gonna push west immediately. See what happens now. Album art load on that one. That's weird. Oh, we got pushed. Okay. And it stopped. Hmm. 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 Really wanna. So the, clearly that won't work. I'm curious about like what the actual values of all those different friction settings are. I also really wish I could set those uh, after it's been built. 
Okay. So then... Kitten adopts child. Hooray. You stuck brimstone. Hmm. That's not ominous at all. Cancels render fat. You have fat. I see all the things you're slaughtering. No way you don't have fat to render. Um, okay, so let's do rack stop of this one in the exact same place. Let's see what that does instead. My goodness. How's our web farm? Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this. And <laughs> anyone want some thread? I got some spare. And we're smoothing. Getting through all our smoothing projects. This is just... <laughs> failed uh, minecart attempts, but now it's just like a tall part of the ceiling, I guess. Um, and we're still doing good on... Like these are all, these are all becoming full. Uh, but we also have this down here. Yeah. So we got, we got plenty of tombs. Considering we haven't been killing people so quickly as we have in previous fortresses. I tried to make these large enough to to put a a door, and then I totally didn't. If you if you give them a door, you can use that multi placement thing, and it's a way you don't have to click on them all individually. But I didn't, so I can't. Yeah, look at all this. Library. Irvat is still pondering reproductive behavior. Someone please check on Irvad. She's in our um, our main religion as well. The Cyclops, testing on get Ostak has come. A giant humanoid monster with a single side eye set in the middle of its forehead. Are you on the surface? You are. That's cool. Uh, who are you, human axeman? Visitor is ready to leave. Well, I hope you make it. Uh, melee squad, go ahead and station up here. Rangers, patrol the wall. We'll test our new, our new friends. Um, but yeah, you're you're just gonna get into it, aren't you? Seventy-one year old. How old do humans get? They get quite old. Um, everyone, everyone seems to be able to get old in this game. Um, like I've I've seen humans over one hundred. You're... you're doing okay. Wow, you're just gonna do it? Human. This human is just taking on a Cyclops on his way out the door. Cyclops misses. Cyclops misses. Cyclops misses. Wow. 
human hacks the Cyclops in the head with copper battle axe. See, this is taking quite a few hits with a copper battle axe against a non-armored target. Take it down. So obviously winning, but uh, it's taken a bit. Um, yeah, because it's it's just a Cyclops. It's just naked. Testing the turquoise of a steaming. Oh, I didn't even turn on a civilian alert. What are you doing? You're just... You're harvesting berries. <laughs> and you just kept on going. You're not gonna help out? Is that too close? Can you not see it down there? And you were, you're both unconscious. Okay, fine. Let's see. Kill. Confirm. That'll take care of it. And then half of them just ran inside to get junk, didn't they? Die cloth. Oh, it's it's dead. Hooray! Goodbye, human. <laughs> I guess that counts. 60 to 120 for humans. That makes sense. That seems... That's in line with what I've seen. Like low 100s. Not uncommonly. Uh, okay, so... Mine card is back. We're constructing something somewhere. Slowly. Um large step ladder. Okay. Everyone's harvesting berries, I guess. Not that we really need him. And then this all happened. Good, good. This has all been rearranged. And then I'm gonna say... Leather stockpile gets a little bit bigger. Um, the bar block stockpile can get a little bit bigger. What was this? This was... Oh, I made this for fresh raw highs. Yes, so now there's a place for the for the raw high to go. My goodness. Um, let's we'll do... Actually, let's do like this. Because this is gems. Which is doing fine, apparently. This is finished goods. Okay. This looks okay. I'm not going to use up all of our space. Oh, we have a... Uh, I don't want anyone to sneak something in there. Oh, and like right there, too. Yeah, okay. And then... This is all essentially fine. Oh, we're probably gonna have to mine some more marble if we're making more... What the heck was that? If we're making more, um... Steel. Probably need more flux. Four immortal base races. Really? Are they, like, secret hidden races? Or are they... What are they? Oh, and then, yeah, so this stockpile also can get a little bit bigger. My goodness. So much stuff. Really gonna maximize our space utilization. And look, all this is getting smooth. Very, very good. Um, oh, and then here. Is where we're looking. Looks like they have dealt with garbage that was on the tracks. Actually, not entirely. It's just all in <laughs> invisible now. I do. You know. Yeah. Just a bunch of random honeybee remains. Okay. Well, let's try this again. 
like a f one full friction stop stopped it entirely. So this is one at one less than full. And I want to say like it might also does it depend on how much stuff is in here? Because it might. And now it's like full. Wow, that cyclops probably filled up the whole dang thing. Aren't secret creatures? Two of them are pretty common. Hmm. Um, okay, so we're gonna push. Push west always. Done. Oh, and this is probably just gonna dump all of its stuff again. Up. I wanna. Does it. But it got a little further. That's strange. this so let's maybe this one needs to be bigger too more more frictiony i could probably only test it when it's like full but every time it fails when it's full there's a whole minecart's worth of garbage that we have to manually move again Let's do construct track stop and we'll do this one here. Let's see what that does. Minecart shotgun technique. I mean, if you do it on purpose, yes. Maybe that's what we should do. Part of the reason I want to increase our population cap. What happened here? Did our minecart tracks get. Did I smooth our tracks? Did I screw up? I think I smoothed our tracks by accident. <laughs> I want to up our population cap so that uh, we can make some more squads so that we can send them abroad to harass goblins. And try to get more goblins to show up and, and we can just start killing goblins. It's part of my goal here. Okay, so you're making that. That is done. And then there's all that junk. And then this. And yeah, you're gonna have to wait a second for it to actually work. That's fine. Everything is fine. Oh, I didn't even trade with my humans. Whoops. Oh well. Shows you how desperate we are for trading. So we are... We're dying thread, we're dying claw. We're spinning thread. Canceling all the things. Getting caught in all the webs. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Are we done digging? I dug a handful of the things that I told them to dig, so I'm gonna tell them to dig a couple more things. And there's that. Hopefully our Hopefully I didn't permanently break our kitchen minecarts. Um, are you Yeah, you're going. Keep an eye on that. Um, what else? Other than all of our new bedrooms, what else was I digging? I think that was it. This all seems fine.
Yeah, look, it's all smooth. We have a smooth layer now. And that got reconnected. Okay, and then we're digging up here. Uh, I'm gonna ignore the tombs for now, cause that's fine. Yeah, it's just our, our, our bedroom cluster. So, I'm gonna tell him to get to work on these. That'll just be a, a, a process of digging them all out, and that'll give us some raw stone as well. Which will be good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna... The way in is gonna be on this level. They'll come, this is like the bottom of our, our waterfall situation. Our, our pump is right here. But we're still getting mist on this level. So this is all, this is all still good. And they can come in here and there's me some stairs up here. Yeah. Um, and some stairs up here and down here. Yeah. So yeah, they'll come into this kind of back area tucked behind the web farm and all the tombs. We'll have a handful of bedrooms here, a whole bunch of bedrooms here, and then this whole floor is just going to turn into bedrooms. And by my count, I want to say that like we currently have like 50 bedrooms. I want to say this is like another 70. So we'll be plenty for our purposes for a bit. Um, and then if we wanted more at that point, like we could this whole floor is just being used to store rocks right now. Um, but then we hit our uh, our caves, of course, so we won't be able to go much further down than that. But we do have a whole nother floor that we can build into. Plus a couple of other gaps. Like, they're still, like, here. Not that I'm going to do much here. But we could. Like, we could just take this down and, and put a whole nother wing of bedrooms down here. So we can, we can cram some more people in here. Our, our super productive... Fortress can support a lot more people than we have, I think. So, we're gonna do that. Why not? Nothing ever went wrong by shoving more dwarves into a tiny place. This minecart's getting close. I don't know, 30%? Jeez. Um, okay, and then they're working on this. Very good. Let's go down here. Let's forbid these again. And that and that. Yeah, let's, let's try it again. I mean, they're loading it up fast. Uh, push. West, always. Okay. Oh, we didn't follow. There we go. Oh, just straight up derailed that time. Interesting. Interesting. Of course, our stuff is already all rotting here. Hilarious. How did that happen? Do I... I should put a wall here. Right? I mean, that seems... I mean, realistically, I just need to make this... We should make this one higher friction as well. Yeah, you're just gonna haul the whole minecart. Good. I'm wondering if some of these spills is because it's like coming to a ramp and like derailing, but just, you know, like shooting out straight while the track goes down and then it falls onto the track and then that spills things. I wonder if that's what's going on. Okay, so we removed that. So let's make one of these right there. Let's see if it helps. Kia is fighting, as always. The sound of productivity. A kitten has adopted a child. How many pets do we have? 
Uh, someone has a, a guinea cock. And... How many of these are owned? Not very many. Uninterested. Not as many as I thought. Okay. Uh, four cats, a bunny, two rams. No one's got a dog. We have dogs, right? Yeah, we got a bunch of dogs. Should we be should we be war training things? We haven't traded any animals in this fortress. Did our kitchen just go? Kitchen just went. So did it. Did it work? I mean, I made it here. It's empty. I don't see any junk on the tracks. That's really the important part. Yeah, cool. Okay. Did not permanently, permanently break anything. No trained ravens here? Not yet. But, like, we still have all of that institutional knowledge, right? Um, like, if I go here, overall training. Ravens. We have a general familiarity with training ravens. And, and ospreys and <laughs> naked mole dogs and all sorts of things. Um, like, all that knowledge we gained from training ravens in that other fortress just carries over because we're in the same civilization. Yeah. Yeah, it's because it's civ knowledge. Which I think is very cool. Okay, it's getting pushed back up. And we'll get this back eventually. Um, I am just going to tell them to push it off immediately again once we... Once it returns, is that you? You're still... You've been here, haven't you? What is... What is wrong with you? Drowsy thirsty... Hmm... Okay, so it still has a bunch of stuff in it. Yeah, this dwarf is just stuck. Yes, I want more. Is that so bad? You should go inside. Okay. Oh? It lost its stuff, but at a different spot. Yeah, okay. Cool. We're making progress. I bet you each of these are just going to need to be... Uh, I put in a whole bunch, but I'm imagining they just... I think I put them in, like, the middle friction setting, so I'm just going to put them all back in as, uh, you know, one higher. That appears what, to be what we need to do. I'm coming... yeah, okay. Cause this is a big, this is a big one. Yeah, and that's, that's that one, okay. Hello, cat. So, track stop. This one, here. And then, same thing here. And then... I don't know if it's better, like, before the turn or after the turn? Oh! Uh, did we just... I hope that didn't just murder someone. Let's... At least it didn't have anything in it. Uh... Doctor? Oh no. Oh no! Doctor gives in to pain. God. Did it push you all the way down? So 
Someone get the doctor to a hospital. Oh god. Is that our main ho our main doctor? No. Not our chief medical dork. Tourist attraction? Yes. Please. No, not the minecart. The doctor. Please haul the doctor. Thank you. Are you gonna be okay? I'm sorry. At least it was an empty minecart. Okay. Well, you made it to the hospital. Ability to stand lost. Oh god. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, okay, so we'll bring... Oh, it's down there. Okay, so that's fine. We'll bring it back up eventually. Okay. And there's just all these random blocks <laughs> that everyone needs to move, please. They should go somewhere. We did that one. We got... This one. This is some trash. That one still needs to be removed. Mine car has been nothing but trouble. I know. That's also partly why I want to figure them out. Because I've always been like... Oh, it's just a bunch of trouble. I don't want to figure it out. So I, I want to figure it out. Of course, the side effect is that everyone dies. But, you know... One here, one here, probably one here too. Let's see what that does. First, we turned an ancient forgotten beast onto a web farm, and now we've got we're on the verge of weaponizing minecarts. Great scientific advances have been made. Yes, exactly. Yeah, if I can understand minecarts, then maybe we can weaponize them. That's not, that's definitely something I've never done. I'll give them a moment to figure that out and maybe heal the <laughs> uh, uh, doctor. Uh, we're, we're building walls in here, that's good. This is all gonna be Michael Klein. Thought I told it all to be a rock salt, but whatever. We're digging. I'm also getting gypsum and claystone. Boring. Kalanite. Stuff we already have a whole bunch of. Oh my god. You need some... need some silk? Need some webs? I got some webs. I'm gonna say our silk farm is working. Oh, goodness. I love it. I love it, I love it. Um, okay. Operation Smooth. Let's continue with the smoothing. This level I don't care about too much. We've done this one. This is all just storage. We can do in here. Even we will eventually smooth everything, but might as well start with the spaces that we're actually using. You can picture it now: a fleet of minecarts circling the fortress, gleaming with justice. <laughs> Just having patrol, having patrol of parapets. That'd be pretty funny. Um, all of our bedrooms are smoothed. I think I mostly just want to do, like, all of our, our central stairway situation. Uh, I guess like these. Yeah, that's all fine. Look at that. And this one. Uh, we got this. Of course, we just have, like, mud everywhere. But that's fine. Um, hey, we're saving. Wow, we are really, really booking. 
Whenever a raid shows up, you just turn on the security carts. <laughs> By gleaming with justice, you mean covered in blood, then yes. Same thing, I'd say. We'll do the same thing. Listening with justice, yes. Um, okay, and then we'll smooth here as well. I think that all works. Just keep giving them things to do. Hey, look! Goblins! Or I assume goblins, yeah. Oh, there's a dwarf. Moma's. Moma's Diamond Books? That's a good dwarf name. If only some brave elves would settle nearby. I know, right? I think we're too far north for them. I think they don't like the cold. Okay, station. Patrol. And alert. And also, I'm gonna grab some water. Um. But I can show you a thing. Look at, okay, watch this. I have made an automation. Fancy, fancy, fancy. It mutes my microphone and it turns off my camera with the push of a button from my phone. Uh, do you think elves react to minecarts like deer react to cars? Probably. By standing there and getting hit. Oh. Oh. That was interesting. That's a different Mark's dwarf. Did you see that? That was weird, right? Some <laughs> three showed up and were like, oh, no, not us. And then they disappeared and different ones come in. Huh. Um, okay, you have your orders. And yep, there's the thieves. <laughs> at the very least, our wall patrollers are very good at Spotting the thieves. Yeah, and they're just gonna pepper this dwarf down there. Very cool. And yeah, they're just gonna filter in. I'm just gonna let them filter in. I should probably put a floor here so that people don't fall in. That might be smart. But uh, are we already done? Did we already kill them all? Oh my god. Don't let that one get away. Oh, he's still coming in. You still want some? You still want some? How about that? Cool. More dead goblins for us to test our trash system with. <laughs> uh, okay. And then, yeah, just... We'll just unforbid the things. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I'm curious, all these bolts that end up inside the fortifications, they just get like, get stuck there. It's very strange. No one here. Things. Badger leather tunic. I'm gonna say, let's build a floor across this. Out of all those jet blocks we don't have? Oh, we have some. We should find more jet. I 
But I think that'll be a little bit safer for, for dwarves standing up here when goblins come through. We have mined like all of our jet, haven't we? Bolts are part of fortification now, make it appear more menacing. Oh, that's true. This castle menaces with spikes of bolts. Look, we're already just, we've already just... Our food situation is ridiculous. Ridiculous! Okay. I want them to... Finish moving all this junk. They got... They got the trash trash. They just need to get the blocks. Oh. Uh, thank you. <laughs> uh. What do you mean I'm hunched over like a gremlin? Yeah, all these blocks. Uh, okay. Uh, we have dwarves to trade with. Because the blocks can go somewhere, right? They have a place. They can go here. Should be all stone blocks. Yeah. Weird. There's some. Yeah. I need to make more blocks. Oh, there's a bunch there. Okay, we need the blocks to be moved. Yeah, okay. Never mind. They just need to be put away. Stretch? I can stretch. Um, let's go... Let's set our trade goods and then I'll stretch. Hey, a forgotten beast. Unsas Ngas Ngos and Go and Go and Go. A gigantic one eyed warthog twisted into humanoid form. Squirms and fidgets to where it's deadly blood. Excellent. It's kind of. It's Ganon! Uh, bins. Finished goods. Sure. 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 I'll not be trading for that much here. Yeah. Of course, all those, uh... Masterwork trousers ending up in my trade goods. Oh well. I was reading about hyperflexibility a bit. I don't know. It, there was, there's not a whole lot to do. Oh, I didn't even... I didn't open my things. Whatever. It's like, don't, don't overextend your joints. I'm like, well... How am I supposed to stretch? <laughs> how am I supposed to do anything then? Okay, I'm waiting on our broker. Jeez. Oh, and then where I want to I want to see this one. What do you? Oh, did you already kill? You just killed someone. Yeah, you you have usurped the. Uh... Or no. No, the new one died. New one totally died. I got it. 
They didn't even get a chance to see anything about it. Where's our combat log? Diplomacy. Uh, let's continue. I am once again asking you for wood. Even though we're not using it that quickly at this point, but I want to have like a stockpile. Okay. Okay. I also want to look at rumors. Do they... Let's see. News and rumors. See, okay. Like, you can see stuff going on here. Oh, wow. I wish I could zoom in. What's going on here? Things crossing. You're going there. Uh, Dark Goblin Fortress of Witch Dishes. Uh, in the late summer of 137, the army of Tobol Granite Slid marched on Witch Dishes. Cool, and they came from... Sounds boss, right? Where'd they come from? All the way down here. In the mid-spring of 137, the army of Gika yell-waved the Hide of Dawn, marched on Rumored Tongs. Oh, I see. So this is a human town being sieged. From, from way up here. But then... So where is this... I'm confused as to where this other one's coming from. Is that... Yeah. It makes it look like Elder Ring just sent out... Uh... A raid to these goblins. Yeah, okay. And there's probably other stuff happening in the world that we don't get to see. Oh, there's something over here. Because our civilization's over here. Oh, it's a, um... A dwarven tower. Interesting. Army of Babak marched on bridge stabbed. Yeah. So we got attacked. So our civilization got attacked by a um, a necromancer tower over on the other side of the continent. Forgotten beasts either kill each other or walk into a pond filled with fish. People, yeah, no kidding. Um, or both. Elder Ring carrying on the legacy. I know, right? I'm also really interested to see uh, population about a thousand. Oh dear. Because, like... I know it says about, but, like, geez. That's a lot of dwarves, apparently living in Elder Ring. Oh, whatever. We know what's in there. Mayor has been reelected. Still waiting on this to be returned. Oh, because I didn't actually give it a, a depart condition. I want this to depart like always. I want to guide north always. We'll see if that works. Could watch the VARs getting real curious what the fort looks like. Um, that's fair. Um, my... My streaming skills have been increasing over the time period of that fortress, so don't be surprised if the... if the video quality is a little bit rougher, but, um, the whole, the whole thing's there. I also kind of want to go and reclaim it at some point. Because we left some tasks unfinished. Uh, we never actually finished our throne room. That was our big, that was my big, uh, ask there. Okay. So, we're there. I don't want to push off immediately. Let's wait until we have 25%. Push off west immediately when at least of any items. Yeah, let's do that. In theory, all of our track stops have been built. Of course, there's all these blocks lying around. I'm just gonna forbid these. I don't wanna 
kill another doctor. There, 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 my goodness. I think they built all the things I told them to build. Lots of magma, hallway of forgotten beast. Oh yeah, uh, of course, Erish, the demigod of tantrums. Yes, um, I have a couple of shorts. You go check out the shorts um, on the YouTube. Um, some of those are from that fortress. Um, the first one in particular is about Erish, our our uh, our perpetually tantruming child, uh, who is with us no longer, but had quite a few kills under his belt by the time he was put down by a spirit orf in a moment of I don't know he was responding to a, a forgotten beast and just kind of stabbed a child in the head on the way down the stairs it was very very interesting it was a very eventful day um, but yeah we had a, a memorial hall for all of our forgotten beasts we made a, a statue for each individual forgotten beast and placed them in a nice uh a nice uh, uh, situation. So that was cool. Um, I was working on making a throne room because it is the capital, but we lost the queen. Um, we had the queen for quite a while, but she... How did she die? I don't know. She. I think she got tantrumed. I think the queen got tantrumed. Uh, you know, there's just like everyone else. Um, oh, I didn't trade. Duh. Wood. Hooray. And then a bunch of leather. Cool. Uh, you can have those trousers. I want... I want to keep the masterwork trousers. Let's do that. And then... And then we'll trade. It's fine. I don't care. Good. Good job. Off to bed. Okay, nighty night. Thanks for hanging out. Cool, yeah. Go go have human functionalities, whatever. Um, I'll I'll see you on Thursday, probably. I mean I'll be here. Um, but yeah, have a good have a good week. I'm gonna keep smoothing. I'm gonna keep smoothing. This is all. But we can't really smooth the stuff that's grown over. Is that how that works? Hmm. I'm gonna need to clean up all of the mud. Hmm. We are smoothing. Um, can't do those. Can't do those. I see. Okay. It's all smooth. It's all smooth. This is getting there. This is all... See, I we flooded just one too many times, and now it's all muddy. And, that, and then it turns into... Cave. Precious fire opal. Neat. And what's all this? We're getting more lignite. Nice. Um, claystone? We're gonna have so much claystone. I'm okay. Um, oh, this can be enlarged. This is just a dwarf corpse stockpile, I believe. Yeah. Um, but I don't even know if these are, like, citizens, or if they're just, like... Those sieging dwarves that we have for a second. Uh, 
whoever was here figured it out eventually. <laughs> There's so much garbage. I'm gonna have to start melting things at some point. Um, okay. Project smooth. What are we smoothing? We can smooth all this. Why not? can all be smooth. I don't care. Like, this is all, this is all whatever. This is all whatever. This is all, this is all quarry. We can fight, there's more rock salt here. Let's just, let's just dig out our rock salt. Why not? Yeah. No reason not to. This is like our original, like, our original fortress is just completely gone because we've mined it all out at this point. We originally had a way down and like a hallway and a handful of rooms. Like this was an ish a hallway and now it's just been completely redone. Very cool. Um, this is all, this all counts as fortress. Maybe that. Um, not necessarily these. Let's do like that. Yeah. And then what? Do I build floor over? I just want them to like, just like scrape up the mud. Hmm. What happens if I build a floor and then take it back up again? What if I do... Yeah, use, we'll use one of our mini rock salt blocks. And slowly filling. Is this... Yeah, okay, so that'll... It'll go when it can. can't really, like, do smooth... You don't really smooth ramps, do you? Hmm. I want it all to be smooth. The scholar is sparring. Okay. We made another book. Mismatch. Markstorf. Markstorf. Hmm. I assume they're figuring themselves out. I mean, this says they have their stuff. I've been much better about bolts recently. I've been seeing them shoot things. Stukas is throwing a tantrum. Who are you? Who are you that you get to throw a tantrum? You're not one of our tantrumers. Or maybe you were. Now you're gonna go to bed. Okay. Ability to stand lost. You probably don't have a crutch, right? For no reason. Are you in the same... Same pitiful situation as our, our previous sad sack not able to get a crutch for some reason. Petition? We haven't had a petition. Uh, Iton wants to be a citizen. Sure. I forget what was up with Iton.
Uh, were you one of our scholars? Was it you? Or the other one. I am now part of the faithful ore. That was very satisfying. Okay. So yeah, uh, we had a a scholar just become a citizen. Cool. Listen to poetry. Interesting that you're a chemist specifically. skills. Master record keeper. That's cool. Legendary student. Legendary reader. Legendary chemist. Holy cow. Holy cow. Look at this person. All the knowledge. I want to become... <laughs> yeah, see, we just have too much dwarf corpse. Hmm... Maybe we do toss the dwarf corpses and make slabs as we needed. I don't want to just keep because these aren't going into. I made this as a as a buffer for you know if we had a whole bunch of citizens die and didn't have enough tombs. I didn't want to. I wanted to have a place to put the corpses, but. I mean, that's not an issue. And I have to imagine these are just... Like those invaders or something. Sning. Osa. Momas. Hmm. I mean, if I just come in here and say... Can accept work corpses. Um, here, I'll just stay at all of them even. We're probably gonna haul all that stuff from here up to the surface, but that's fine. What are you doing? Hauling tetrahedrac? Stone. Well, the digging is happening. Make a bunch of doors. We have to furnish all of these. This is gonna take. We're gonna make a lot of furniture and use a lot of rocks. I'm busy, and then how was I doing this? Am I? This is microcline. Jet considerate. I should have. Is this accepting rock salt? It is. I'm gonna make a new stockpile for rock salt specifically. is for stones. There we go. That way the junk stone is used for uh, doors and such and then the actual make make rock salt blocks job will will still make rock salt blocks. We 
traded. I'm making more rock salt blocks. Cool. Cool. Everyone's got their stuff. Looks like everyone's wearing their stuff. Very cool. plants here you're just hiding in an empty farm harvesting plants I see you yeah look at all the smooth oh, we have so many fire imps that's disconcerting giants mm, okay I'll assume that's fine So, okay, so then this got placed. So now I'm gonna try to remove the f constructed floor. See if that gives me raw, s raw stone floor underneath that I can smooth. We could also like construct floor on all of the floors, but that would take quite a bit of stone at this point. These, and you can't smooth on those either. Hmm. We are gonna have so many webs. You're gonna have an unreasonable amount of webs, and it's glorious. Norbem, captain of the guard, has been possessed. Interesting. Those are waterfalls. Oh, they're still. I keep keep finding extra extra stockpile bits. Also, just keeping an eye on our on our minecart. Maybe we should push it now. Let's just let's just push it now. going to be too much. Probably. Then, yeah. Can I... It's just way too... It's just a big run. Okay, let's get rid of this one and make it full... full strength. And go ahead and pop that back up again. <laughs> We're making thread. Masterwork. Masterpiece Llama Wool Cloth. 
love to see it. And it's gonna be dyed as well. Let me finish. We finished our one-time orders. What are we doing for, for cloth now? Cloth. We have a bunch of silk. 260 wool cloth. Cool. Um, yeah, let's just do yarn, wood, yarn, rube, yarn, trousers, yarn, socks, yarn, uh, mittens. We haven't done mittens in a bit. Is that all of them? Say do one of each. That's a hundred items, right? Why not? Let's go ahead and make some. Uh, we can make some silk shoes. Maybe just silk, silk everything. Silk vests. Silk trousers. Silk socks. Yeah, we'll just do ten of each of those. That'll give them some stuff to work on. Use up all of our cloth. Like, make more cloth. They're grabbing the stuff. <laughs> All these silly blocks just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lorbem has created... Rakasindor Immer Nulam, a rock salt earring. Neat. We'll put that in the museum. Okay, so I'm going to construct a full friction track stop here. Then go check out our museum, which is here. It's got a thing. You've got a thing. You've got a thing. You do not have a thing. What was that made out of? Yak bone figurine. Or no. Rock salt earring. That's right. So I figured out the fastest way you can go to earring and just put in rock salt. Those amulets. Earring. There it is. about this. Still waiting on this. Cool and all. The rest of the smoothing has happened. This has all happened. Look at that. It's all smooth. Um, so then we can start on like these areas. Been smoothed. I mean, we'll just we'll just smooth this floor. How about that? I wish you could make constructed walls look a little more uniform with everything, but whatever. 
As do core has come, a great feathered ankylosaurid. Long straight horns, squirms and fidgets, dark tan feathers, long and narrow, but way of poisonous bite. Are you gonna get immediately owned? Oh, there they go. Fight! Fight for my amusement. There you go. Is that the new one? Yeah. Yeah. Challenger one. There's like there's three different Forgotten Beast corpses right here. Fantastic. Um, okay. So everything here is smooth. I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna let them work on all this. I'll probably start engraving stuff too. As this is as this is getting smooth. So we have two people, one of them is way worse than the other. We have a proficient and a not a not experienced person. Um so that. That, that works. Um Also, keeping our minecart situation safe, I think I'm gonna wall this off. Doing okay on rock salt blocks, it appears. But all these, all these keats just going up and down the minecart shaft is not ideal. Um, did I... I did restrict movement through... Or no, I didn't. I should. I should absolutely... Say these are restricted zones. Of course, animals don't care, but I can keep dwarves out of here. If, if the job takes them to a spot specifically, the, they will still do it, obviously. This just increases like the weight of their pathfinding. But hopefully that means they'll go around things if they don't need to be on an actual tunnel. Okay. This has been made. Still all sorts of... Things just sitting on the tracks. Let's do it like this. These are. Did I restrict these? I did restrict this. Yeah, okay. So that's all good. This is all. Minecarts made everything strange. Shearing as fast as we can. Like the good strange, probably. Probably. I mean, it looks like we've been living here and making mistakes. I guess that's. I guess that's good. Yeah, look at all that. Now we even got more rock salt and more tetrahedrite, because that's what we needed. More ore. Then it's just yeah. Now it's just furrowed silt. Hmm. There's the boss. Be with friends. You don't have those. Um. Okay. So I guess we're gonna build. 
floors over all this silly mud. We'll just use rock salt, I guess. That'll look better than mud, at least. Hey, we're saving. these doors in, otherwise the water would have made it a lot further. I guess all of this. It's all just mud, right? Yeah, smooth, muddy floor. <laughs> Look at all this. This is all, yeah, cavern floor, cavern floor, under lichen, cavern floor, fungus, fungus. None of it can be smoothed. Mayor's demanded, yes. Some of it can. Fine. It'll all look more uniform once we engrave it, I think. Because you can still engrave constructed floors. <laughs> this whole floor. Ugh. This floor is a mess. Let's... Oh my god. <laughs> Any of this be smooth? S amounts of this can be smooth. Definitely not all of it. Put some walls here. Why not? Of course, this like is also our overflow. <laughs> so if I want this to continue to look nice, I'll just have to never Overflow again, I guess. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Something like that. immediately use all of my blocks. <laughs> oh well. I want it to all look nice. It does look a little nicer. Aside from the mud. Yeah, that's a bit nicer. Okay. And then... Still waiting on this to get Build a bit more so we can try it again. How's our... Yeah. 
look at this. Several stacks that go off the side of the screen. That is absurd. Okay, so I'm gonna pause this. This that's I'm gonna say that that might be enough for the moment. Because holy cow. It's gonna take so many years just to harvest all that. And I feel like I must have made all these out of mudstone probably. Or not mudstone, microcline. I'll make more. That's fine. Okay, and then we can turn off this power. Because, you know, that's fine. And then I'll just kind of reset. And then we have a gigantic pile of webs just sitting here for whenever we want them. Like, we have, we have silk. We have access to silk now. with that and then this I might even just like do we just ditch this whole thing mm. I don't need to just be holding on to body parts I want them to be going somewhere either in a tomb or in a fire pit those are the options well we got a bunch of bedrooms we're gonna have to smooth all this too uh, but we'll we'll get there. Okay, so yeah, that's that's all good. We're we're good. <laughs> Web farm success, I'd say. Right about the blast furnace. Cool. But yeah, our our chemist, our new our new citizen is is writing stuff. You're actually no, you're pondering. I'm not, Pondering reproductive behavior, of course. Mystery of social animals. How many books do we have? 41 books. We are accumulating. I assume these go in order. The Great Furnace. Can oil of vitriol save the world? Foundations of combustion. Time spent with the funnel. Time spent with animal diseases. Before the scratch test. The flask ampules. Yeah, see, our our chemist has been chemisting up a storm in here. Record of the phases. Yeah, see, like I bet you a Limbic's book. Uh, written by Iton. Yeah. So we have a a researcher down here. Just uh, are we both Iton? Both of our Itons are down here. I'm going to run to the restroom real quick again. Hopefully they'll they'll keep filling this up. Um, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna let that run against better judgment, but I will be right back once again.
I'm back. Okay. And they haven't made any progress on that. That's fine. Our surface is so much more peaceful. Thank you. I'm liking the lack of owls on the surface these days. It's like downright peaceful up here. I want these high woods to get all fancy. I would leaves. I would. Yeah, the high woods haven't even gotten higher than the bayberries yet. And we're still good on things getting close to our the walls. This one's a little close. That's that's fine. Um, this all got made, so that's good. I was thinking of, um... Okay. What do you want now? A figurine? You're fine. You're good. Someone's gonna make a figurine, I guarantee it. I was thinking of, instead of having fortifications down here on the ground floor with a person, you know, camping out in here, um... I wonder if it would be smarter if it was up here. And this was just like an extension of this area. But I don't actually know... the smart thing there. I'll just leave it. It's been working fine so far. Bound a book. We've made yarn of the cloth. Need more wooden barrels. Jeez, I have so much food. Okay, well, they're they're working on it. They're working on it. Just take out the trash. That's all it wants. You have you have your twenty five percent. Why is there still a crate in here? You shouldn't have... There, you should not have crates. I don't care. We're still... We're still making all sorts of dimple cups. Is that... Still needed? I mean, we're going through all of our cloth, so we're dyeing them. Uh, if we go down to plants... Where's our temple cups? 90. So that's not ridiculous. Um, if we go to outers, where does outer? Temple dye. So we're even using all of our temple dye. 3,000 whip vine flower, though. That's cool. Um, but yeah, um, we're just going to be growing a whole bunch of temple cups forever. That's fine. I wonder if that'll ever be our bottleneck. I kind of doubt it. But you can only grow it two seasons out of the year. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, there's all our rock salt. Good. We do need to mine more marble. Everything's looking so much cleaner. Um, yeah, where was our marble coming from? Marble was further down, and there's what jet we have remaining. Like here. Looks like there's not much left on this level. Could be some more down here. Kind of doubtful. And then here, I don't 
see any cobalite diorite. This is our, our microcline, that's right. Cory, which has been kind of quarried out. Impressive. Um, there was more. Yeah, yeah. We got more. Let's do. Please take out the trash. We're 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 getting down 44 frames. I wonder if we're actually gonna start seeing a dip. And I'm gonna turn on the experimental feature and see if that brings it back up. That's what I'm curious about. And then that was temporary. Jeez. But feel that this is a, a DF hack making weird things happen thing. Because these these farms have nothing. There is no or one of them. Are you actually doing anything? unsure what's going on there. Um, oh, we can flip our things. We're, we're smoothing. I'm just giving them too many jobs, that's all. Oh, uh, we should fill our waterfalls again. It has been a little bit. Um, and then as we are smoothing, I'm going to start giving some engrave orders, but I'm going to do like unimportant areas. So I'm just going to do like the floors of hallways to start with. So they can kind of train themselves. Lower traffic areas for some practice. It already like built up. My goodness. Okay, let's go ahead and close it again. I'm not going to overfill it this time. I wonder if it filled faster because we were filling from this reservoir. That's my guess. I'll just refill when the spring thaw comes. I think we're 
Okay. Don't see anything so deep that it will murder someone. That's really the, <laughs> the, the thing. Yeah. Now there's a little water there. How did... Hmm. Just a tiny bit. If that makes more mud, I'm gonna be mad. Uh, but looks like they've taken care of these blocks that were hanging out in here. So they're... They're doing stuff. They're not doing nothing. Uh, I haven't done that yet, but that's fine. <laughs> There's still an undead wolf man in here. That's fine. Um, and then look, this has all been dug. This has all been dug. Perfect. Mayor wants more breastplates. Me a single breastplate. House. I'm making progress. Of course, the silk stuff isn't going. I was getting stuck last time too, wasn't it? Look at all this. Oh yeah. We we're making a bunch of clothes. Yeah. Masterwork alpaca wool socks. Excellent. But why is the silk not working? Because we have silk. We have silk. It's dyed even. <laughs> Look at all this yarn. Excellent. I haven't done anything with our gems even. I'm getting mud already. There's a way to tell them to clean up. There's like a... You only died. No automatic would have gone. Yeah, slaughter. If there's... Yeah, there's a cleaning job. Oh well, maybe we'll do it eventually. We have soap. I saw soap before. Yeah, giant stoat soup. That filled with water very quickly. Which is cool. Okay. Yeah, some of these ended up being microcline. I guess that's, that's okay. Is that all of these? I mean, let's do this.
getting there. Still working on this huge level. <laughs> All this food. Seriously going to bring in more dwarves just to eat our food. It's ridiculous. Working on it, proficient engraver. Miss Irvad. The yarn ones are canceling, but they're not even trying the silk. I don't know what that means. Like there's, that's all. You need some clothes. W worried? Do I look worried? Yeah, look at all that. Are we... Are we low on dye? Is that what's holding us up? I say die thread. Yeah, unwritten die items, not satisfied. Okay. We're not making enough die for all the cloth we're making. I've never been in that situation before. Because uh, if we check our plants. I have 129 dimple cups, so we probably just harvested. We're currently working on harvesting? Yeah. Okay. We're currently harvesting dye. Or dimple cups, at rather. And then all these dimple cups are going to be stored right down into the kitchen, right? Right in the, our giant stockpile. Or, or just go straight into the... Yeah, no, yeah, okay, yeah. Are we, we have a dedicated dimple cup stockpile. Well, there's a whole bunch here. Yeah. And then... You should be milling dimple dye. And there's a whole bunch of dimple dye. Yeah. Dimple dye dye items at most 200. Let's remove the cap. Or no, let's do like 500. Yeah. And then you're just linked to, yeah, the dimpled cup stockpile. Perfect. So that's all working. It's just, you know, at, at capacity, basically. Yeah, we need more people just to, like, <laughs> complete the jobs, eat the food, move the thread. What's this? Why is there a huge stack of bolts just sitting here? Okay. 
Yeah, and move, move the bolts. Why are we even making iron bolts? We aren't making iron bolts. We're making silver bolts. Begins to stalk and brood. Oh, that's actually not good. Stukos. Stukos is... About to be naughty, I think. This is one of the less ideal strange moods, I think. I don't know what happened to Stukas that he suddenly just crashed his, as far as his mood goes. Experiencing trauma, wearing tattered clothing, suffering a major injury, major injury, major injury. Okay. You've been hit a couple times. But like, you're not currently naked, right? You have... You have a chest, you have pants, and you have a vest. And shoes. Like, none of it's worn, even? Well, you have a, a leather tunic, it's a little bit worn, but... You have a... There's another thing, right? Yeah, just a normal vest. You have masterpiece dyed llama wool trousers. What are you gonna do, Stugos? Are you gonna make something fancy and then end up in prison? Brooding darkly. Yeah, this is bad. Stukas wants to murder someone. Pretty sure... We're gonna have to walk through all of our waterfalls to do it. Where are you going? You're just gonna go... Society flourishes when lawbreakers are punished. It's true. They have been. Can I eject him? I could just eject him. Where are you going? I'm just gonna hang out by the windmills? That's not creepy. If you need me, I'll be brooding darkly by the windmills. Now oh, you're going back in. I'm... I'm gonna eject. I'm gonna expel... Yeah. That isn't funny. Disgusted after being expelled, and it... Broke strange mood, but not brooding darkly. I'm curious what happens here. Godskin Stukov? Yeah. A little bit. You're hauling lizard remains, okay. That's important. That's definitely a reason to come back into the fortress after you've been expelled. Embarrassed upon... Embarrassed dwelling upon watching a performance. That's strange. Are you leaving? Visitor is ready to leave. Please leave, and please don't murder anyone on the way out. Self-pity, unable to practice a martial art. Hmm. Well, unfortunately when you get to that point, I'm not gonna give you a... Why are you... You're still hauling things. You're hauling... You're hauling garbage. I know, this is... Bop. 
Where are you putting this, Stukov? Stukos? What? Whoa! Putting the trash into the tanner shop. Why are you... Why are you this way? I feel like if I take my eyes off of Stupas, then he's just gonna murder someone outright. Guilty dwelling upon being able to rest and recuperate. See, like, stuck in one of these loops where every memory is bad. Pleasure remembering putting on a truly splendid item. Blissful, intent, ejected being unable to pray to Asmol, but you can pray to Asmol. What are you, you're... You just grabbed Cave Spider remains out of a trash stockpile. And you're gonna what bring it back into the kitchen? Why are you doing this? Content being near a waterfall every time. And yet. Still working on that smoothing, too. Yeah, what are you. And there you grabbed cat bones and you. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So now there's... No, where'd you put it? Did you put it here? You did. Oh, is this... Hmm. Maybe he's going through all of his strange mood stuff, even though he's not a citizen anymore. Yeah, okay. He's claimed the tanner shop. I see. And he's just grabbing a bunch of garbage. So he's still doing a strange mood, even though he's been expelled. I guess that makes sense. But look at this garbage that he's grabbing. Okay, well as long as you're working on gathering stuff, I assume you're not going to murder someone. That is an assumption though. Yeah, okay. Stukas is doing a thing. I don't know what he's gonna try to do at a tanner shop. What? Yeah. Whatever. I'd say you do you, but I'm afraid you doing you involves murdering someone. We are dying. Dying cloth. Still... <laughs> still looking for more. Um... This is... All dimple cup, right? Yeah, look at all that spawn. Um... I could set up another one of these to work on it, too. Because we just have a whole bunch of dimple cups here. What if I link? Well, that was gonna be for paper crops. I'll leave that set up in case I want to do more. But this one, do dimple cups. Um, 
but I'll just still let it also take general work orders. Maybe that's what we'll do. So it needs to take from Dimble Cups, and it needs to take from Furniture, and it needs to give to something else. No, I see. Okay, it's just taking taking from. Okay. Okay. And this bag stockpile never really worked, did it? Because this should be taking from... Taking from furniture and giving two millstones. It's just not happening. Whatever. This is whip pine. This is... Simple to have. Is uh oh, and we're saving again, making record time. And the creature has settled down right here. This is the one that I'm... no. Hey look, we're being sieged! Where am I...? No, that was the... this is the paper one. Just leave that be for now, and then this can be also... Give this a mill plants one at a time. Is that right? And this is just doing. I wish I could like copy a set of things. Um. Yeah. Restarts. Yeah, and then I don't care about checking against the die, really. That's fine. Whatever. And then, little villain alert! There are goblins! Patrol the walls. Okay. Are you getting any better? Leather tunic, iron breastplate. Iron breastplate. Leather. Okay. Well, some more. Oh, and look, Stukas is finished. Furnace operator. Created Matt Shash, a cave swallow bone earring. Hooray. Offers it to the faithful ore. Thank you, Stukas. Now leave. Um, where's our. Here. I'll even put it in the museum, since you offered it to me so nicely. There's a what? Cave swallow bone earring. And go to earrings? Third cave swallow. There it is. Perfect. Well, Stukas, maybe hang in there a moment so the goblins don't get you, but... You know. Clap, clap, clap. Oh. <laughs> Dead. Dead. Oh, we should be raising this whenever we're being sieged, but... It hasn't been an issue, clearly. Oh, did we already break it? Are they already... Are they already given up? 
Jeez. Uh, I don't see anyone else. They all just... Wow. You... I'm... Okay. You know how to go around walls, right? You know how walls work? <laughs> Gone. Jeez. What the heck was that? Someone was fast. Um, but we only killed like two. Three. Three and a thief? Is that all that was? Okay. I'm invincible, I guess. Um, where's Stugas? I wanna find Stugas. Oh, because you're not a citizen anymore. Uh, I got a little panicked seeing all those giant Kias, but they're all in cages, so that's fine. Stugas, visitor. Ready to leave. Pawn on a different hat. You're just standing there. Legendary stone cutter. Just standing there in the waterfall. Embarrassed at dwelling upon wearing old clothing. You're not currently wearing old clothing. You don't need to dwell upon the time that you were. Hmm. I think I broke Stukas. <laughs> oh boy. As long as you leave everyone be, <laughs> I guess you're fine. Ugh. How's our how's our garbage doing? I would love to get this to be reliable. Silk stuff. Well, we made five silk shoes. We're slowly getting through the yarn. I think we're having to die as we go. Who are you? Meng. Meng has been here a lot. I've seen Meng visit a lot. Calling. Breathing without limits. Okay. Just make sure to check in any books you borrow. They're not going to be coming out here to deal with our garbage. One got over here. I'm 
realistically, even if someone wanted to get into our fortress from this minecart path, we should close that. And then I'll leave this open for now, but hmm, how would I? This is, I don't technically need this. This was for our Baroness who died very quickly. Hmm. I think I can just get rid of this. I'll call it good. And then this is our stairwell down. Let me see. Put a door or a wall here. Kind of close that off. And this door can stay. I'll just put another door here. And we'll put a wall like that. And then when we're done with all our minecart shenanigans, I can turn this into a wall. And then this is all sealed off. So the, yeah, so we just come down here. And we do need dwarves to be able to access this area so that they can push carts back up. We can kind of we can control, can kind of control access to here. Can you put doors on minecart tracks? Yes. Interesting. I wonder what that would do. Can a minecart go through a locked door? That's what I'm wondering. Something else to test. 8%. A giant key has stolen iron arrows. What... What giant key? Uh? Imagine it could with enough energy. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess I mean with... While preserving the door. <laughs> um... What? Okay. There was a giant key. Uh. Oh, there's one. These are just normal... Oh, there's Stukas. <laughs> Getting attacked by a bird on the way out. As you do. Who's gonna win this one? Oh. And then are you gonna help me that hand with the bird? Stukas seems to have gotten out. Oh, and you didn't help with the bird at all. Fine. Okay. Oh, now it's dead. <laughs> I just needed someone with an axe to think about hitting it, and then it died. Giant key has stolen a silver bolt. I said it was nice that we didn't have birds, and then the bird showed back up again. Yeah, they like to just go in here. Oh, but that's a weapon trap. Do you like the weapon trap? You don't like the weapon trap, do you? Okay. Well, there goes Stugas. doing ending okay oh sir there's birds they're just shooting at birds cool and that's locked yeah cool i'm liking our rangers now that they all have bolts on a regular basis they're just gonna be it's just gonna be stuck up on the roof okay looks like 
Looks like Stukas got off the map. That's one tantrumer taken care of. Okay. You, this has a little bit of stuff. I'm going to give it one last test push. We'll see where we're at. What we need to deal with next time. Hmm. Are you coming to push? Push! And... Oh! Oh! It worked! It worked! It fully worked. There's nothing left on the tracks. Look at that. Okay, and that was at 8% load, so I am curious to see if any of that... If any of those physics change... Uh, when it's at a higher load, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just crank this up to a hundred. That's what this one's at, right? That's at 75. Let's yeah, we can do 75. That's fine. Success. And then they're just gonna push it all the way back up. Flawless. Lawless, aside from all the flaws. Spattered with dwarf blood. <laughs> did our doctor... Uh, oh, how did our doctor do? I mean, I didn't get a found dead notification. Okay. Uh, yeah, Vukar. Okay, that got made. I want to make sure that this is all sealed off too. Is that... Uh, I'm just gonna, for safety's sake, put a wall here. Fewer things that are just wandering around in our minecart tracks are the better. What do you say? Forgotten beast, Ebb. Hello, Ebb. A great eyeless bear, twisted into human form. It's a rune bear. It has a gaunt appearance. Pew's, is pat Pew's hair is patchy, but where is fire? It's a fire-breathing eyeless bear. And it's in the same cave. Everything keeps coming up here. Fire. <laughs> it's a rune bear. Yeah. And did they fall? Did they just both fall? They both just knocked themselves off the top. And they're going to end up in the water. They're on this little ledge. They're just going to keep going down. They're just going to keep going down. This is like a giant cliff. Demon curses the bad cavern. <laughs> oh, fire breather one. Now what are you going to do? There is another forgotten beast down at the bottom of this cave. Can you fly or it's climbing? It's climbing across all the walls. A giant eyeless fire breathing bear climbing across the walls in a cave. I hate it. It's going up. No, it's going down. It's going down. Or no. It doesn't know what it's doing. It came back to where it was. <laughs> oh, and then it fell and died. What was it? It just... What was that at the very end? Ebb. Forgotten Beast releases... Yeah, okay, this is all Forgotten Beast on Forgotten Beast. Elk bird attacks a forgotten beast, but it jumps away. It came onto the map and destroyed a forgotten beast, and then climbed around the walls and came all the way back to exactly where the other corpse was. 
dodged a hit from a, from an elk bird off a cliff and then fell and died. <laughs> Neat. That's cool. That's real cool. Um, yeah, so on that note, I mean, we got we got our, our minecarts working. Pretty satisfied with that. Um, they will slowly actually use that to, you know, take out the trash. So I'm going to give them time to do that. We're still good on... Still good on our dudes. Um, so yeah, now we're... We're smoothing our fortress. We're digging out space for, for more dwarves to come move in. But our core functionality here is kind of working. We have way too much food. Look at all this food. Look at all this food. We need more people to come and eat our food. Um, I'm gonna have to make like an overflow food stockpile. Hmm. Like this was this was the overflow stock. Pile. We need to make an overflow overflow. By the only way any room bear has ever lived because the environment killed it. It's true. Rune bear is dodging off cliffs. That's not inappropriate. I smoothed. Damn it. Keeps need to not smooth minecart tracks. That's a thing to keep in mind. So just like this, and like that. I think that's all that needs. And then, yeah, there's like all this stuff to take care of. All this stuff that needs to be moved into stockpiles. I mean, what if I said like, this whole level could be stockpile? What if I said like this was more food stockpile? It's obviously a little further away from the kitchen, but it's in overflow, so it doesn't have to be close. It just needs to be a place to put things. And then if I need like more stockpile for other stuff, we can always just expand up in this way. Yeah, I think this is gonna be this is gonna be overflow, overflow food. Um, assuming there aren't any, I don't want anyone coming in there to grab food. And then eat in the library. Look at all this. Look at all this! Reading, 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 reading. Wow. Everyone's reading. And you. Just evaporation for the beginning practitioner. Cool. So the question is, if someone were to grab food from here, they would come down through here, and these would be the closest tables. They would have to keep going down here to get to the other tables. So I think that's fine. I'm gonna assume that's fine. Now we're getting some some detailed detailed floors here. Very cool. And you're both working on it. We did legendary herbalist, legendary leather worker, and now I'm gonna train you on engraving. Okay. I think. Doo -doo -doo. 
and they're... I assume they're hauling to whichever is closest. Yeah. Um, and then here, this is all just wool. Holy cow. There is still some garbage in here. And food. Yeah. Um, I think... I need more wool storage. Holy cow. Could move it up here and take up more space. Anyway. This fortress is really coming together. I'm really happy with where we're at right now. Hopefully they can... I want them to, you know, take out the garbage. They're they're working on it. And this all got smooth. This whole level's smooth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got redone, and then that just got unsmoothed again? Uh, whatever. Whatever. I don't think floor can be smooth and tracks at the same time. Because smoothing is how you get rid of tracks. <laughs> Take care of the garbage! There's, there's so much stuff and like rotting... Rotting food at this point. Okay, I think, I think we're done for the day. I got caught in miasma, how disgusting. Yeah, I know. And of course, you're gonna sit there and look at goblin corpses. Once we get caught up on trash, hopefully the corpses don't get hauled down here and only end up at the top. Just need to like, crank through this backlog of garbage. But we'll work on it. And then we'll, and then, jeez, oh, they're already digging this out. Look how fast they are! Ridiculous! Ridiculous. Okay, so then... This is just gonna be food. Um... Everything except seeds. But it's going to be set to give to both of the others. Ah, this is overflow food. And this is repaired food. So, yeah, this will accept all kinds of food, but it will give to the other ones whenever it can. It will take all the barrels, but also take like five wheelbarrows, and they're just going to start filling it up with individual owl parts. As you do. That's fine. Owl towel. Owl tallow. Say owl towel. Owl tallow. Three times fast. Okay, hopefully that... Hopefully that gets them through it. Are you... See this? In this milled... Oh, this milled like a bunch of longland flower. I thought I linked you. I mean, barley flour is fine and all. That's not why I set you up. 
Because hmm. this only accepts double cups. And this is just paper stuff. Yeah, why? Well, because it can still take general work orders, am I... I'm probably just... Yeah, whatever. Whatever. We are definitely still doing Dimple Die here. Slowly. Another Forgotten Beast. Great Beakless Chickadee! Has a spiral shell and it appears emaciated. Maroon feathers, long and broad, will wear its fire. So much fire! So much fire! This is a different cave. This is cave 2. Holy cow. This isn't even the first fire breather in this cave. Well, have fun. Cool. <laughs> this is fine. We're going to call it good here. Um, but that was that was success, I think. That was some progress. Um, we have all the silk we could ever want. Uh, we're going to have to start harvesting that and like actually making things out of it. But like, dimple dye is going to start being the thing to, to hold us back on making all of our clothes. Never had that happen before. It's always been the raw clothing material. It's been the problem. Um, so yeah, we have effectively infinite silk and we have trash disposal mechanisms that work as far as we can tell. Um, so we will, you know, once we catch up on garbage, I think we will be fine. And then every time we get sieged, we can just Toss all the goblins into a cart and push it down, and it'll, and it'll just go into the garbage, and we'll be fine. We dug a whole bunch of more bedrooms. We're smoothing. Uh, once we get all of those bedrooms smoothed and furnished, I'm going to up our population cap. Uh, probably to like 100, like immediately. And we're just going to let everyone come in, and... We're gonna do our best to keep every all of our newcomers happy with all of our waterfalls and our clothing and food and fancy quarters. And yeah, hopefully they can eat through some of our food and and take out the trash. Yeah, that's the goal. Um, I wanna I wanna make this a big small fortress, a tiny big fortress. Or a big tiny fortress. I don't know. One of those. That's what I want. Uh, so yeah, come by on Thursday. More of that. And then more aliens on Saturday. And we'll have a good time. Um, come hang out in the Discord. And show me what you're working on. And I'll show you what I'm working on. I'm, I'm going to start a new project. I was... Yeah, I'll, I, won't, I won't bore you with all that. But I was realizing that if I wanted to do a thing, then I kind of have a deadline in like a month and a half uh, so I think I need to I think I need to actually start <laughs> start working on it um, so come by into discord and you'll get to see whatever I'm doing so yeah um, oh so yeah uh, have a great rest of your week and don't forget to stay kind <laughs>